Hello YouTube, in case you missed it, last time we had the first loss of the series, and I realized I never actually went through all the usual statistics screens that I do, so here they are now. Um, and I think what we're going to do is try again. Um, I don't think I'm going to continue the series the way I have been, um, because I... Uh, have gotten some feedback that some people would like to see different spirits. Um, I'm sure you left lots of comments in the last video about what you'd like to see, uh, but I haven't read them because I have like a three month backlog. So uh, in like, you know, 30 videos or whatever, I'll totally act on that feedback. Um, but for now, uh, definitely way back in the first video, someone did say they'd love to see other spirits, so I will be getting to that. Um, I also am very much looking forward to actually playing with Branch and Claw, which is another reason that I'm going to stop doing this uh, series in the pattern that I've been doing it, um, because I just like Branch and Claw better. Uh, it's got some good stuff in it. Um, but for now, I do want to redeem myself and uh, prove that I can do England. Um, so I guess the real question here is, what did we learn from that loss? Because uh, I think losses, it's it's important to learn from them. Um, I think the main thing we learned is that it is generally not worth it to uh, reclaim over and over uh, in order to prevent blight. Um, I think that it is too much of a tempo hit to take those reclaims over and over. And I think that in that situation, as hard as it might be, um, you really need to just keep building, take some blight, probably get a blighted island, and uh, be in a stronger position for it. And uh, who knows if that would have helped. Um, can't go back and play the exact same game, but I can play a similar game. Um, so this one is pretty much a no-brainer. Um, I'm wanting this here. Uh, we're actually in a very good position for my usual turn one play. Um, so that's lovely. All right, so, uh, I was wrong and I need to go fix it. <laughs> um, I thought, I, I forgot that Sudden Ambush targets the place that a Dahan is going to, not coming from. So if I do it this way, I don't have range, but I can very easily have the range that I need uh, by simply doing, let's see, still, uh, go back a little further. Here we go. Um, if we put this token here, then we suddenly have the range we need. So, still sudden ambush, manifest, finish playing cards. Um, this does mean uh, we won't have quite as many tokens over here as we we're going to, but I think we'll still have enough to um, do the manifestation like we want to. Okay, so we are sudden ambushing here. Uh, may as well bring the token that has presence with it. Takes care of that. Um, I forgot they could build there because this is England. Do we want to reconsider with that in mind? So against England, Sudden Ambush isn't quite as good. I still like it turn one since I do want an animal symbol turn one so I can use Gather the Warriors and um, Words of Warning uh, obviously doesn't do anything on turn one. I could theoretically do it over here instead, but it doesn't help much there either. I think we're still happy with this. Um, and probably what this means is we'll have a good target for words of warning uh, after we take this place entirely out, um, because I think I can do that. Let's see. So right now there are six HP of guys in here. So, yeah, one and one will get it done. Um, so, 
Meaning that I only need one over there. I'd love to get some others into a jungle or something. But that doesn't look like it's happening. Let's see. Oh, I could... No, because I want to leave that there. Uh, I was thinking um, I could gather these two into this jungle and then push one of them with a presence over there. Uh, but then I don't have anyone here for uh, defending that next turn. So I think I'm going to stick with my original plan. Oh, wait, here we go. So we gather these two along with this token. And then we push one of them to the jungle. That works. Uh, and not move the presence because I need it to manifest. All right. Manifest here. Destroy everything. Lots of fear. Good stuff. All right. So, obviously words of warning is happening here. Um, I think we want to add to presence. We probably want to... Uh, start focusing on these jungles pretty quickly. So let's put one presence here and another one. Oh my goodness. This mouse. There we go. All right. Boop, boop. And good to go. Okay, so. Words of warning, obviously here. All right, uh, we're getting some extra defenses there. That is irrelevant, but certainly doesn't hurt. Okay, now they're checking out the mountain, um, which is always awkward on this board with the long wetland there, but what you gonna do? Okay, so next turn is obviously a reclaim. Um, we're going to be able to defend probably just this land. We're probably letting that one get blighted. Um, we're going to have uh, three energy. So it's going to take uh, one for defending. Uh, I could probably end up ambushing here as my other power. So let's leave one behind who can ambush. And take the rest down somewhat. Um, so I think that's going to look like gather here, grab you and you, and leave you there, leave you there, probably grab you, yeah. So grab all the presents. Okay, and then we really only need two here, so we send two others over here. Uh, I definitely should have left one presence here. How necessary is that? Uh, pretty necessary. Let's back that up. All right, real this time. Gather here. One, two... Three. One, one. Okay. Then we go one here, one here, along with one presence. And that way we still have two sacred sites. All that is great. Uh, we're exactly where we want to be with everyone. So Voice of Thunder is just up here. All right. Obviously reclaiming. So yeah, as mentioned, we're going to uh, Sudden Ambush here and Words of Warning here. So we don't really need anything from the Minor deck now. Uh, some extra defense would be nice. I don't think there's much that can handle this. Uh, that would be three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So seven or more to defend there. Um, so if we see a seven or more defend, we might change our minds. Uh, and there it is. Um, but that would require having a sacred site at range zero, which we don't have. We do have a defense six uh, that we could target there. Um, 
But since we only have two card plays, we obviously want to defend here. A defend six alone is just short of preventing a blight here. And we aren't going to have a third card to like ambush there and take out a guy or anything like that. So I think we still don't necessarily want that. Um, obviously, Call to Isolation is always a good go to. And probably what we are taking. Yeah, let's grab that. All right, other minor card. Um, hard to turn away apparitions. Uh, obviously, this does lots of good work. We may even use it right now. Um, yeah, because we could prevent potentially a couple of builds, although England's nonsense makes that harder. Okay, so yeah, if... Uh, if it weren't for England's uh, powers, we could pull these two guys into here, and therefore they would not, neither one would build. But as things stand, uh, the desert is going to build because it is next to uh, this town and this city. Then the ravage in the jungle will happen and this will go away. Uh, but it won't matter because now there is a town here and a city here, so that's adjacent to both of these mountains, and they will both build. So actually, even a sudden ambush isn't going to prevent that this turn. Um, so all of that is definitely happening. Okay, uh, I could still um, gather those guys into another place, but it doesn't really do that much good. Um, like, it makes it so the defend threshold here is lower, but um, not by enough that I'm worried about it. Definitely still words of warning. Um, and at that point, I can't afford manifestation, which means I don't have the symbols I need for lead the theory's assault. So, let's see. Call to Isolation is an interesting one. Um, okay, hold on. Let's, let's think about this more. So if we call to Isolation here, that it can push both of those guys out. Uh, we could push them down this way, where they're not doing as much harm although they are building a city here. Um, at that point, this sand doesn't have enough uh, cities and towns next to it for that to build. And since nothing gets built here, if I sudden ambush here, then this place also doesn't have enough things adjacent to it to build. Um, so call to isolation and sudden ambush? Feels a little weird as a turn two play, but or turn three, turn three. Uh, but I think it works pretty well. Uh, it accomplishes a lot of our goals. It doesn't kill these guys, which is what we really want to do here, um, and and sort of delays them and makes number four here kind of a terrible place to be. But overall, I think it does more good than harm. So let's go for it. Um, also leaves me with a spare energy, which is always nice. So... The other question is, at that point, um, instead of sudden ambush, do I want to do entrancing? I could pull both of these here, for example. But this place will definitely still build regardless. This is the only place I'm actually preventing building. So I feel like I may as well kill that guy. Maybe? Hold on. Entrancing is one less energy, so I get to save two for next turn. I can still prevent this build. And I can also grab this guy and put him somewhere. Put him over here. Yeah, maybe this is better. All right. Glad we had this chat. Um, so 
So right here, push you down here, and you really don't matter. You could go here or here. I think here is fine. So I can empty this place entirely out. Um, okay, so entrancing here. Uh, oh, wait. I didn't read the text on entrancing carefully enough. So that only functions if there are no invaders present. Um, and in order to pull this guy out, he would have to go here, which means he'll build and we haven't solved anything. So, back all this up. Sudden ambush after all. Finish playing cards. Ambush here. Uh, might as well. And then call to isolation here. Push you here. Push you. Uh, there's not going to be made for pushing you here. Because this place is going to ravage. It's about to build a town. And uh, I'm going to defend for three there, probably. So, yeah, let's put you there and finish you off along with everyone else. All right. One blight, as expected. One mountain getting built in, as expected. And exploring the coast. That's interesting. It means we don't get a stage two escalation. Uh, there's no mountain on the coast, so we're not having the uh, two cards in a row problem for any given land. Uh, although we may have it between these two, but at least it won't be here. Um, yeah, in fact, it's fairly likely, unless this is a level two sand, that these two cards will share at least one land. Could be both. Could be, if this is a wetland, then we're getting all of that happening. So, um, obviously we're words of warning here. We're probably able to add one presence. I'd love to add two presents though and get two cards, which would have to be at that point, Voice of Thunder and Entrancing. Don't really have a use for entrancing next turn though. Um, and that doesn't give me the fire I need to activate um, Lead the Furious Assault. And it doesn't really matter if uh, Gather the Warriors is fast at that point because I've already got lots of movement. So. Uh, the other option would be to play a single presence, only get up to two card plays, but then we can manifest. So the question is, where do we want to manifest next turn? Uh, probably a coastal land. This coastal land that has blight is definitely a strong contender. Um, yeah, I think I want to start shuffling people down here. So, uh, if we're playing Words of Warning and Manifest, that's going to give us, let's see, we've got an air there. So we'll have three air and two sun. We'll be able to gather three push two. So I can transport these over that way. So this turn I should focus on this guy and maybe getting this way. Okay, so we're going to gather here, grab you and one of you, take my presence along with, uh, just the one presence, I don't really need one of these yet, uh, and then push one of you here with my presence. I guess I should have taken one more presence, but we'll figure it out. You know what? We won't figure it out. It's worth doing. The more I think about it. Because manifest, we need as much presence down there as possible. So grab you, grab you. Uh, we still really want two here. 
for uh, the defend. So let's do it that way. Okay, great. I guess that doesn't really get me presence any closer to this. Now that I'm looking at it. Whatever. Okay. Um... So, as expected, we're doing this. Uh, it's tempting to take from here since this doesn't actually do anything yet, but I think uh, getting to that three and the reclaim one as fast as possible is important. We obviously want more presence here. Uh, lots of energy, love to see it. And all of these things. Ooh, we even get a lead the Furious Assault this turn. That's lovely. Okay, I like everything that's happening here. No, oh, yeah, of course they're gonna build in this jungle again too, but yep. Okay. Goodness, that place is built up. I sure haven't done the math on how much of that I'm going to be able to kill. So, we want to probably gather the warriors for three. Because even though we could get these two over there, um, it would still only be two and two. Whereas right now we can get three and two. And we just really want to maximize there. So, one, two, three plus one, two, um, no pushing necessary. And then we uh, lead the Furious Assault, which destroys two towns, and then manifest, oh, it destroys everything. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> Well, I probably should have done the math, but it's fine. Um, this is already going much better than last game. Like, way, way, way better. Okay, so. Um, they're going to Ravage here and here. Entrancing can defend here. So at that point, I'm getting one Blight, and I'm pretty okay with it. Uh, and going one more turn without reclaiming is a big deal. Uh, oh, not to mention. So I can add two Presents. Um, they both have to go in places with Dahan, so I'm just going to end up having Super Stacks. But it means I can reclaim one. So I'm getting uh, five energy this turn. I could potentially manifest again. Um, I could also get words of warning, but I don't think it really helps enough. Um, although, would like an animal symbol so that I can do uh, some um, gather warriors. So let's see. Uh, I'll be playing three cards. All of them will have wind, so I will get a fast gather the warriors. That's great because I can gather down here and make this um, assault really count. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Here we go. Um, so I do want one of the cards with an animal symbol. And I don't have a great way to... I guess I could manifest over here for a pretty good effect. Um, yeah. <laughs> 
So yeah, if I reclaim Manifest, play these three cards, I don't get to move anywhere, but I do get to Manifest here and destroy everything. Um, otherwise, I can move down here and destroy this stuff. But it's not worth quite as much fear if I do it that way. The defend doesn't do me any good. Sudden ambush doesn't really help anywhere. And call to isolation only helps if I can move first. Or I guess I could isolate these guys, but then I can't. Uh, yeah. So if I isolated these guys, send them, I don't know, here. Uh, just keep punching people in this desert until things get bad. Then I get the animal symbol I need. It also saves me a lot of energy for a future turn when I actually take a reclaim. Um, I kind of like this plan. Uh, well, it still doesn't actually prevent a build here. So then I have two places to defend again. Maybe I'm better off just taking the manifest. Let's do it. All right, play all my cards. I guess we have one spare energy. But puts me in a good spot for next turn. Um, all right. Lead the Furious Assault is a gather four, push two. Let's go... Is that usually range zero? Oh, that's Lead the Furious Assault, not... Right, I'm not doing Gather the Warriors, I'm doing Lead the Furious Assault. Oh my goodness, okay. Um, is there a place that's actually going to be helpful? Without moving anyone. Uh, I am moving someone in the slow phase. Okay, let's save that for slow. Um, I could do it here now, but I'm planning to manifest here in the slow phase, probably. If I do it here now, I'm going to end up with that and that. There's something you said for manifesting up here. So I can voice of thunder all of these up here. All right. Well, any way you look at it, we're in transit here. Um, if I lead the Furious Assault here, it kills that during the fast phase, they build another town. I can defend here and here next turn without too much trouble. And this is a much juicier manifest. So sure, let's do it. Okay, that's lovely, um, because that means we can prevent this build by removing this town. Uh, oh wow, okay, that's huge. Um, wow. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of fear cards all of a sudden. Uh, let's see. Different land with the Han. Invaders take one damage per Dahan there. Well, I can't really do much with that, but I guess this guy dies. All right, loving the blight prevention of that fear card. Um, a lot of the ways I was getting unlucky last game, I'm getting lucky this game. Okay, so the plan we decided on um, is not as good as it was a minute ago. So 
they're not going to do anything here for a bit. Even though I'd love to kill that SETI, I think this is a better target. So let's... Still Voice of Thunder. Push up to four. Okay, then we do 16 damage here. Loving it. Okay. So, goals for this turn. Uh, defending these two, we can do that with just our reclaimed cards, so we're not worried about that. So, as we're gaining powers, we are definitely looking for good wind cards so that we can do our innates fast. And generally just good cards. Um, Drift Down to Slumber technically does a better job of what we're doing already, and certainly the land types are better than usual, and we're really wanting to play lots of wind, so let's do that. Um, similarly, another minor power. I'm seeing two wind cards. None of those are good enough to be worth considering without wind, since we've actually managed a streak where we're using all wind cards. Um, probably steam vents. I think we're starting to get to the point where uh, destroying an explorer could actually be enough in certain places. Uh, we do have to get to range zero, but that's not too bad. Um, alternatively, Reign of Blood does help toward the Wincon, uh, because we're going to need... I mean, we don't need to get to Terra level 3 to win, but it's really hard to win on Terra level 2 against England, and we're a good chunk of the way there. Um, so it might be worth considering a card that just adds a bunch of fear. Uh, let's see, do they have a place right now with two? No. Are they about to? No. So it's only two fear right now, if I played it this turn. Which maybe leans me back towards Steam Vents. If I was able to get the three fear fairly easily, I'd consider Rain of Blood. Um, but we'll grab Steam Vents. Okay, so, three power this turn. Obviously, we're doing some defending. Um, Drift Down to Slumber is free defending, and that's a good kind of defending. Um, Words of Warning gets us the animal symbol we need to be mobile. Uh, and also defends for plenty. Uh, yeah, I think Words of Warning is our second play. And then we get a third play, which is kind of up to our discretion. Um, no manifesting, sadly, and we don't have an extra fire yet. Um, otherwise, I'd be heavily considering voice or call uh, to manage to get Lead the Furious Assault to happen. Um, but as it stands, We're gonna get a fast gather of the warriors, so we can be wherever we want to be. Preventing a build would be lovely. Um, obviously putting some people here so that that place dies and that place dies, but then we've still got this town and this town to allow this to build, and this town and this city to allow this place to build. If we can dislodge this town, maybe that solves it. Um, and Call to Isolation can probably accomplish that. Okay. Let's see if we can pull that off. So, we are going to um, do a creative Gather the Warriors. It's a yeah, so gather the warriors here, 
One, two, three, four. Probably should leave one or two there, but whatever. Um, one here, one here. Uh, probably doesn't need that many, but we're doing it anyway. Maybe? Okay, think about it. Is there anywhere else I would like to have? Oh, we're not preventing this one anyway because there's a guy there. It's still probably worth getting this away from this so it can't build. Um, but we could put it here. Now there's enough people there to kill it, and a rift down to slumber is more than enough to defend it. Okay. Killing that piece helps a lot. Yeah, let's do that. So push you into here. Drift here. Words of warning here. Uh... I love it. You? Okay. Um, choose a different land. In the chosen lands, gather up to two to harm, then do one damage. That's neat. Gonna choose this land. Gather probably both of these and kill that guy. I think we've actually managed to prevent England from building this turn, which is a big feat. Obviously, they get their escalation build and they're getting to explore a lot because of the long wetland. But this is good. I think this is winnable. All right. Um, ravaging in the sand, don't care. Building in the mountains, possibly could prevent some of it. Um, but largely, we want to attack the heck out of this wetland. So let's focus on that first and foremost. Um, there's no reason to add two presents. We have tons of presents on the board, and uh, we're already at a point where we've gotten the most juicy symbols. Like, it might be nice to get both the fire and the sun, but it's not, like, good enough to give up all that extra energy. So, this can go at range one. I think we put it here. Oh, we also get a free reclaim. Always good. Uh, I think Words of Warning is going to be our go-to on that, just for future turns. Yeah, Call to Isolation could even be good this turn, but... Yeah, let's Call to Isolation. Don't know if I'll use it, but at this point, we're spoiled for choice. Because um, we're already going to be able to defend both of these next turn with one reclaim. Yeah. Okay. So definitely manifesting because I have tons of power for it. Um, either doing a voice of thunder or a call to isolation for the sun symbol. Um, I'd be happy with either. Call to isolation with some creativity might be able to prevent a build. So let's look at that. And then Sudden Ambush can probably prevent a build with some creativity. So yeah, we're going to have a lead the Furious Assault. My intent is to use it here, uh, because we could do it fast. At that point, these don't get the special England build, so we can ambush one of them and possibly call to isolation the other one to empty them out. 
How do we do all of that? Let's find out. So, we need um, to gather some warriors, particularly here. But we also want uh, one to be here. So I think we want to um, ambush first. Then we gather the warriors next, grab all four that are available, and maybe we win the game in the slow phase. I think that's looking pretty likely. So we can call to isolation here, push you over here, lead the Furious Assault here, um, neat, <laughs> that was all lovely, and then yeah, we win the game. Well, I think I've redeemed myself, <laughs> that went honestly better than I would have expected, rather than worse than I would have expected. Um, so we proved that we can beat England level 3. Um, probably I'll be jumping ahead and doing high level adversaries, but with the expansion, um, I think that the uh, starting symbol tokens up a lot with uh, high level adversaries. Um, like this land will start with a disease and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, 52 points. Um, did real good this time. And thanks for watching. And next time I'll probably play with a different spirit. We'll see how it goes. Later.